to restart, factory reset, date and time, upgrade. It's all very laid out here to where if you came in here looking for something, you should be able to find it. Another video today. You may remember this Conoco wireless IP camera that I set up a couple of weeks ago. It's been strategically placed here in my kitchen uh, just for testing purposes. I've had this camera close to a month, I would say, and since it was a camera that I was not very familiar with, I wanted to try and do as much testing as I possibly could. So, in this video, this is more of a Conoco wireless IP camera review than anything. I'm going to go through some of the features in the app as well as some of the do's and don'ts with this $20 camera. A couple things about this camera. Now, a couple things about this camera. Okay, this camera is a full HD 1080p camera, and on the side here, it has some of the things that it's uh, good to do. Now, I'll say for baby care, if you're looking to use this as like a monitor to check in on your little one that's four months old in the other room. This camera would do that pretty well. I don't think I can think of any issue with buying this camera and using it as a baby monitor. Same thing for a pet. If you have a pet and you're wanting to use this camera just so you can check on your pet every day, that'll be perfect. My phone is blowing up. Then also it mentions elder care here for like an older person. If you're just checking on them to make sure that they haven't fallen down or something like that, this camera would also be great for that. Store surveillance, office security, and home security. That's where you've got to make a couple of changes with this camera if you're willing to use it for true home security. You see, if you're willing to use this camera just to view something like view the baby in the crib or view your grandparents to make sure they haven't fallen, this camera will do that with absolutely nothing needed. If you're willing to use this camera for a home security camera, that's where you've got to upgrade your camera just a little bit. And I don't really mean buy a new camera. This camera will do what you need. You're just going to need, you're going to need you an SD card to put in the top here, a micro SD card to be exact. Wow, you can see it there. And the reason is, is because this little camera does not come with any local or free cloud storage. If you're using it for security purposes, anything that happened on this you would have no record of. Nothing would be in the cloud, nothing would be saved on the device, nothing at all. So you have to buy a micro SD card if you're wanting to use this for security purposes. I can tell you right now I have a 64 gigabyte micro SD card inside this camera and so far haven't came across any issues. It'll keep about, a, I'd say it will keep about a week's worth of uh, filming on it, which is great if I need to go back and look at something I could do it, snap of a finger. And before we get into the Conoco wireless IP camera review, make sure you click that like button for me, click subscribe, and check out indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Sorry for that long-winded explanation, but I just wanted to explain to you that this is a great camera, but if you're willing to use it for security reasons, you gotta get that SD card, unless you wanna pay for cloud storage. Now you could pay for cloud storage, then you won't need the SD card, but a lot of people don't want a monthly bill. Now, I don't want a monthly bill. I would much rather just, I'd much rather buy a four or five dollar micro SD card, slap it in there and be good to go. Let me show you a little bit of this camera. This right here is an actual audio video clip recorded directly from this Conoco camera. Now this here will start a live video, so I'm gonna say this is the Conoco wireless IP camera audio video test. And this right here is a night vision audio video clip, also recorded directly from this camera. And this is a night vision audio video test on the Conoco wireless IP camera. And this one I'm going to show you is actually a speaker test because like a lot of other cameras, this one has a speaker on it so you can talk to somebody. Hopefully that sounded good. I've showed you a couple things about the camera. Let me set up my camera here on the tripod, get into the app, and show you a little bit about the app. And as a side note with how you can uh, mount this camera, you know, you can mount it this way if you need, or this way, or literally whichever way you need this camera mounted, you'd be able to mount it. All right, so let's get into our app now. The app is not called Conoco or anything like that. It's MIPC and it brings you up to this device list. Of course if you had any other cameras it would also be listed here. Now if you select your camera you can see the picture and as you can see this is a current picture as I'm recording this. Very very uh, small lag. See that lag? 
that's barely any lag at all. Now, right here on this screen, you can select this button to change it between 1080p, standard, smooth, or auto. I leave everything on 1080p because I want HD. These are uh, some brightness, contrast, sharpness, modes, etc. More settings that normally you don't even see on a lot of these security cameras. Now, this here will start a live video, so I'm going to say this is the Conoco wireless IP camera audio video test, and uh, it's been saved to my album. That's what I'll use as a clip for you guys. And then this is like a siren. It's an alarm. I don't... I don't know. What... Now, if you come up here, you have a uh, little calendar where that, as you can see, here is a bunch of the items that were saved uh, on my memory card. I mean, it goes a ways back. And you get to that by clicking this little button right here next to the settings gear. Now, if you actually click on the settings, I honestly would say I love this layout. I'm very used to Wise and some of these other apps, um, but this one is a very uh, GUI interface, as they say, G-U-I, which it just has, you know, standard network information here, uh, SD card information here. You can see uh, I have a 64 gig. The activity is loop recording. Everything, you know, from device password to restart, factory reset, date and time, upgrade, it's all very laid out here to where if you came in here looking for something you should be able to find it Fre frequency sounds indicator lights you can apparently have those on or off and then if you go to cloud storage this is what i mentioned earlier is that you don't get any storage for free now you can get a 30-day cycle for 70 dollars a year which doesn't sound too bad seven bucks a month or a week cycle for 30 dollars a year three dollars a month not bad, but I'm just not the type that likes to pay for cloud storage. If I buy a camera, I'm much rather have this SD card in the top so that I don't got to worry about paying for cloud storage. Also, the benefit of the SD card is uh, if your internet's down, everything's still recording. Basically, you have to lose power for this device to go offline. Bottom here, the sound settings for the speaker, the mic, frequencies. This is a uh, motion tracking settings. Outside of that, like Here's the wireless info. Interested that it has my password there. Never, never really a fan of that. But hey. all in all, this is a very, very good home security camera. All right. Well, I think that will do it for my Conoco wireless IP camera review. Now, in the end, would I recommend this $20 camera to you as a consumer? I completely would. There's nothing wrong with it. It does everything that it says it will do. The app is very smooth. I didn't have any issues with this thing other than that small issue when I was trying to set it up, but that worked itself out. I can't really complain about anything with this camera. As I mentioned, for elder care or a uh, baby monitor or pet care, you can just buy this thing, set it up, launch your app, and check on it whenever you want to. If you're looking to use this for home security, office security, or something like that, I would definitely recommend the micro SD card. Another benefit of the micro SD card is if your internet's down, this will still record versus if you pay for the cloud storage and your internet's out or your Wi-Fi is messed up or whatever and something happens, it's not going to catch it. But with the memory card, it always catches it. But I think that will do it for this video. If you can, click that like button for me, click subscribe and check out indulgeclothing.com for the merch and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.